Hi, welcome to She Is Restored. My name is Dini Ajiboye. I trust you've had an amazing week. Uh, today we'll be talking about the winning woman. You know, what does it mean to be a winning woman? Who is a winning woman? And that's actually going to be our theme for this month. You know, my prayer is that as you watch and learn, the Holy Spirit will change and transform you in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, you may be wondering, who is a winning woman? A winning woman is a woman who excels in life. A winning woman is a woman who whatsoever she lays her hands upon prospers. A winning woman is a woman who knows that if God is for her, nothing and no one can be against her. A winning woman is a woman who is a great and awesome achiever. In every single thing that she does, you know, she achieves a lot and she excels. You see, so many of us are feeling defeated in life. We feel the opposite of winning. We feel like nothing is happening in our lives. You could be a woman who you are married now, you are watching this and you feel like you are losing because maybe something is going on in your marriage and you just feel overwhelmed. You could be a young lady who is single and you see everybody else getting married around you and you feel like you are losing at life. You may be someone who you feel stagnant or stuck at your job and you're like, God, I want to move forward in my workplace, but it seems like my, my career, everything seems to be stuck. I feel stagnant. You see, the one point that I want to share with us today is this. A winning woman is a woman who prioritizes and puts God ahead of everything that she does. The scripture says that we should seek first the kingdom of God and everything else will be added on. But a lot of us seek what is in the world and we expect that God will still add on everything else to us. You see, the past few weeks we've been talking about overcoming prayerlessness. We've been talking about a woman of noble character. We talked about intimacy with God. You see, there is no way you can win at life if God is not number one in everything that you do. A lot of us put everything else first and we put God last. You see, for me, I'm married, I have children, I have a business, I work, you know. I have so many things I'm doing, but there is number one in my life, which is God. God, family, purpose. Everything else is after God. God is number one. Because a lot of us prioritize what we don't need to prioritize. A lot of us prioritize the opinion of people, even ahead of God. A lot of us spend the rest of our week, the rest of our time, doing things that does not even add value to us. But then we put God last. You see, for you to be a winning woman, you need to be a woman who seeks God, who calls upon the name of the Lord, who abides in him. My question to you today is, what is your relationship with God like? And I'm sure you are wondering, the only thing she keeps talking about is relationship with God, intimacy with God. Like, can we even talk about something else? We will talk about many things. But the number one point for you to be a winning woman is that you have to be a woman who puts God first in everything that you do. A woman who is intimate with God. A winning woman is a woman who knows how to fight battles on her knees. So many of us want things to be happily ever after, but we do not understand that we need to fight battles on our knees. You see, so many of us go through a battle, and with that moment, we're expecting that automatically, you know, God, we feel, we feel broken in that moment. And we're like, God, what is going on? I mean, I, I wish things would be better. You see, one thing that a winning woman does is that she prays and she puts God first. She understands that God is the one who goes ahead of her and smoothens every rough path. Is the life of a woman, a woman perfect? No. But she understands that she serves a God who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above everything that she can ask or think. A winning woman is a woman who is unstoppable. And how do you know how unstoppable you are if you do not give yourself up, you know, just allow the Holy Spirit to just walk in you. So many of us feel so stagnant. Every single time we try to move forward, it's like we can't even move forward, we feel stuck. My prayer is that if you are watching this and that is you, the Lord will say, you know, liberate you in the mighty name of Jesus and set you free. You see, for you to be a winning woman, there is one thing that should be your priority, and that is God. A lot of us need to begin to set our goals for the year. What is my ultimate goal? Do you know that if you tell yourself that this year, your priority is for you to be close to God, don't even bother with any other thing. I want to, I want to buy I want, Just make that your number one goal for the year. This is it. My intimacy with God. My prayer is that as you're watching this, the Lord will change you and transform you. And I truly believe that this topic is for someone out there. Next week, we'll be talking about more, you know, and I'll go more in depth. But even though we're talking about intimacy with God, I just wanted us to know and use the next few days to reanalyze ourselves, reevaluate ourselves. What is my relationship with God like? Have I really, really been starving, you know? Have I been starved or been starving God of my attention? I pray that as you watch this, the Lord will change your mind. Your mind will be renewed in the mighty name of Jesus and your life will be transformed. I just want us to sit down and evaluate ourselves the rest of the week, the next few days before our next, you know, before our next post, which will be next week Friday. God, what is my life like? 
Where have I put everything else first? What have I put first ahead of you? What do I need to begin to change? And where do I need to start from? I pray that the Lord will open your eyes and the Lord will set you free from everything that has held you, from everything that has taken your attention away from him in the mighty name of Jesus. Do have an amazing week and God bless you.